Good morning, I'm Pastor Bill from Open Door Baptist Church in Moorhead City, and thanks for coming back for another word of encouragement. This is a daily video series that I'm bringing uh, to help us all with the temptation toward discouragement and uh, dis uh, despair while we are being somewhat isolated in these days. And even watching uh, the news uh, can be a rather depressing thing these days. And we have to be careful and guard our souls to make sure that we are orienting our hearts and our minds toward truth, God's truth, eternal truth. And so today we are going to look at uh, the entirety of Psalm 150. Psalm 150 is the last song in the book of songs, the, the Bible's songbook that we call the Psalms. And so today I'm going to look at this relatively short Psalm, Psalm 150, and I will read it in its entirety. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with trumpet sound. Praise him with lute and harp. Praise him with tambourine and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Praise him with sounding cymbals. Praise him with loud clashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That psalm, Psalm 150, is probably just a summary psalm for the entire, what we call the, the biblical book of psalms. Uh, the entire uh, book of Psalms can just be wrapped up uh, and summarized, uh, and the goal can be stated in those three words that, that end the entire book. Praise the Lord. And more specifically, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Well, and, and to highlight this morning uh, something to grab onto and to grasp uh, in, in this psalm, let me just point out that we are to praise him for his mighty deeds and for his excellent greatness. You know, we worship God for who he is. We worship a triune God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit as uh, the triune Godhead. And that's who we worship, but, but we praise him uh, more than for who he is, but for what he has done. And this psalm reminds us uh, just very briefly and very simply uh, to praise him for his mighty deeds and according to his excellent greatness. Have you looked around? Have you seen God's mighty deeds in your life in the past? So much of the Psalms is about not forgetting uh, to look back, to see what God has done, his mighty deeds all around you, and to praise him according to his excellent greatness. Well, I hope that this does encourage you today to do just that throughout your day, to see his mighty deeds and praise him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.